I'm so excited to show you guys. Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm Victoria Leone. So this footage is past footage. This is a video you guys have been so patient and waiting for for a while and I'm still so excited to share it with you. And as you guys know, if you watched this video, I took a break from YouTube after he was born. I did post a video and I was actively filming but then I kind of decided abruptly to take a break. There were some things going on which I kind of explain in that video but like I said still really excited to share this with you I did decide to keep the original intro but I wanted to do like an intro to that intro just explaining this is in the past I did date stamp the whole thing so you know when it actually went down the whole process itself was filmed over quite a few months anyways um, so I thought that might help like timeline wise but I'm so excited to reveal the nursery to you guys finally and I will be linking as much of the stuff uh, that is available down below. A lot of it was like garage sale finds or gifts or thrifted and so I can't link everything but what I can I will. I really hope you guys enjoy this video so let's just get into the real intro. Here we go. And welcome to today's video. This is a long awaited one. So many of you guys have messaged me saying how excited you are to see this. And I have to say, I am so excited to share it with you. But I do have to apologize because I feel like I'm filming this at the worst time because my husband's outside blowing the leaves. So sorry about that like background noise. But that's what that is, just FYI. I have always dreamed of having like a themed nursery. I have 10 brothers and sisters myself. I'm actually Actually number 10 of 11 when you have that many people in the family like we never had like super themed bedrooms or anything like that I mean it's expensive to put together like a themed room and stuff so we never really had that growing up um, it was more just like mismatched furniture and whatever and I'm really thankful and I'm really thankful my parents are amazing I'm so blessed to have the family that I have honestly but one thing I definitely always dreamed about was having not just like a themed bedroom and like a themed house I've always thought that'd be really cool but more so I knew that when I had a baby I wanted to have a nursery that I could feel like 100% comfortable in and just I don't know I've always wanted to have like a cute themed nursery you know? <laughs> and it has been so hard because I'm not an interior decorator you guys it's definitely been a lot of work to get it to where it is right now <laughs> but I am so stoked with how it turned out I am big into white and I also really love gray I think gray is just so cozy and white is just so like light and airy and pure and the light bounces off of it and that's another thing is I just really love light my husband is very outdoorsy and country and so I tried to incorporate that like how I could but we decided on or more like I decided on a more woodland theme it's mostly white and gray so don't be surprised by that you guys most of this is gonna be like vlog style so I've been trying to take you guys on the journey of the whole process of like start to finish and I'm just so excited so I I hope you guys enjoy this video. I hope you like the room. I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, but I really, really love it. Let me know what you guys think of it. I hope you like it. Today is kind of a moving day. Getting ready for you, sweet baby. You're getting your nursery all set up. Set up. We're gonna move that out of here. Need a vacuum, but it's all empty. Soon to be transformed. I want to walk you through an update. Yeah, I've been adding a lot of things since our first look on the room when it was pretty much empty with just the dressers in there. I got some gray curtains, which are looking so good, and we got some decor. We're going to move this in the other room, but I think that's going to go above the crib. And then I have a bunch of decor here in the corner that we need to put somewhere. This is probably going to go it's either in a different room or something because it's more girly. But this one is so cute. That one's going to stay. So a little bit of wicker. Tony's mom found this at a thrift store and got it for $25, which is so perfect. I liked having this here because it's a little bit larger. So when we put in the rug, we can kind of get an idea of like how the crib is going to fit. Here's a little bit of a bigger zoom of the room. So the rug is in. I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's a little small. <laughs> I'm honestly not really a rug person. I kind of feel like this rug is too small. What do you guys think? Who knows? Maybe with the crib and the rocking chair. Baby boy's Here crib. Here it is for my boy. Labor of love. We already know where it's going to go because we taped it out on the floor. This is my rocking outfit for the day. 
Tony's shirt I that I tie dyed. I'm gonna say my rocking husband. <laughs> You're that too. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm gonna go take a bath and then I'm gonna come out and I'll probably come and help you with whatever you need. Okay. Wow. That's looking awesome. For my next trick. Yeah, it says attach bottom back rail part R. So put R on B. RB. RB. Those go up on the top of these rails here. I think there's always something that goes wrong when you make oh, a crib. I've already done that like three times now, so. Show them what we had left. We have these two pieces, M and M. <laughs> so, so he just looked through the instructions and those are supposed to go on either sides. And you just realized that this is put on backwards. I think that's pretty simple to redo. I guess we'll figure it out on this next go around here. <laughs> So my parents are coming this weekend. My mom's gonna be here for the baby shower that's here in Roseburg, and my dad is coming to paint the baby room for us, which is super, super sweet. I need to clear out everything in there. I'm not gonna move the heavy stuff, but all the little stuff, I'm gonna move it out just here in the living room, so that way it can be cleared and out of the way, and then we also have to take out the light fixture and fill in and putty all the holes before they get here, just to make it easier, because they are driving two hours to come and help us, so we wanna just make it as easy as possible. so much today. show you guys something else really quick this is so special this is my baby blanket that my mama made me she made each and every one of her babies a baby blanket so this is mine and she actually kept it like so clean i gotta stand back so you guys can see it all so this is what it looks like she put like all these little individual bows with a little sparkly beads. They're kind of iridescent. Each one of these she embroidered and there's a verse. So each one of them has a verse, something about Faith on there. Faith is my middle name. And down here she wrote, Made with Mama with Love, March, April, 1995. Isn't that just so sweet? So I think that's everything that I'm going to do today. I'm not gonna try to move the crib or the dressers by myself, they're too heavy. After this weekend, I'm so excited to be able to put stuff on walls. October 15th is like my day to where I want almost everything done. I'm definitely getting into a mode where I'm like, I just want stuff done, so I'm really excited. Wow, you've gotten so much done already. This guy is fast. <laughs> it's all bad. Yeah, right. <laughs> I just put the tarp, the tarp down. Two hours later. It looks so good. Yeah, it's white. Wow. It's weird. It, it's like, it's like, it looks kind of blue almost. It's reflecting off the... The black? Yeah, I guess so. Wow. Okay, let's start with the room. I just put the crib back together. We had to take it apart to get it out the door because it wouldn't fit through the door. <laughs> And you saw the footage of my husband and my dad working on Sunday. They spent probably like six hours painting. I'm super thankful to have them. It looks so good. I'm so stoked. It's really interesting how the light can change the coloring too, because sometimes it looks almost like gray. Sometimes it looks a little blue. It's really interesting. Here's me today in cozy clothes. I'm gonna take all of this stuff today and put it back in the room. I realized I probably should vacuum, but I just forgot the power's off, so I have to go turn the power back onto this room. <laughs> I look super tired, that's because I am. <laughs> but we got in this shelf, I'll show you a picture of it. So this is the shelf that we're putting together and it's going to go right there. The recliner actually should arrive today, hopefully, and that's gonna go there. So then the room will start looking way more put together. Guess what arrived today? I'm so excited. I don't know if I'll be able to put it together. I think it'll definitely depend how heavy it is. Just so stoked to finally put the rocking chair in its place. I feel like that's such a big staple I've been missing in the nursery. Here it is, woohoo! It's actually not that heavy, like each piece individually is super, super light, so that's good, <laughs> but we'll see how this goes. 
I'm just hanging out in our most recent nursery edition. You guys saw this when it arrived and I put it together. It does have a hole in it, which was this whole big ordeal, but a new one should be arriving today. And then we're gonna ship this one back out. Target's paying for it all, which is super awesome. I'm currently testing out how the boppy feels. It's like perfect fit snug. So we're working on the last bit of the nursery. It's the decor on the walls. And I thought I knew what I wanted, but then I found something else. I found this mirror from our wedding. So I thought that might look nice like sideways like right above this area <laughs> obviously i would take the words off of it so it would just be like a regular mirror and i thought maybe that would help like bounce the light off of the room a little bit more even that kind of messes up my plans for what else i want to do <laughs> so so i'm not quite sure Finally time for the reveal of the nursery, you guys. I have been postponing this and postponing this because I just really wanted it to be perfect and it's taken me so long to put all this together. I really hope you guys like it. I really love it. I think it's so cute. There's still a few things that are actually technically unfinished slash I changed my mind about. One of which being a light fixture. I ended up just putting in the old one because I couldn't decide on one and, and I think it'll be better because we're not going to live here for a super, super long time anyways. Maybe we might move next year so also there's one little corner which i'll show you tony's actually building a toy chest for connor so that's gonna go in that little corner instead of what's there we'll put that in a little bit later but tony's gonna build that anyways are you guys ready let's see the reveal i'm so excited to show you guys so this is our little baby boy's nursery. So this is one side. This is a little corner where the toy chest is gonna go. So for now I have just like some blankets there and stuff. Those blankets are mostly for me because I get so chilled. I wanna interrupt for just a second to say he did build the toy chest and it is amazing. It was too big to put in that spot. So instead you guys actually might have seen this because I have posted Connor in this area a couple of times but this little setup and I love it. Um, but yeah, the toy chest is actually in the closet cause it's just a little big and he still has a couple things to finish on it, but so special and I'm so proud of him for building it. But that's the whole gist that went down with that. And then we have his crib, there's the changing table. And then this wall was so hard to put together. <laughs> Here's a rocking chair and I'm so stoked about that lamp. I'll tell you guys about that lamp in a second. On there or any like wet towels or something like that. And these two things, are actually from the nursery. My aunt-in-law built this. This is actually a diaper tower. So eventually I'll have to find something to replace that when we need, end up needing those diapers. And my sister bought these personalized little blocks for the Salem baby shower. And down here I have these little tubs that aren't really full, but this one I have some of Connor's blankets so I can grab those really quick and easy if I need to. And then we have toys in this one for right now and some like cringy, crinkly things. A friend of mine from Women's Bible Study made me these, which was so sweet. And then, so this, you guys, we actually have a smart bulb in here, which is so, so nice. So I can change the light from warm to cool or I can turn it up or down. I think right now it's set on like a night setting. Let me turn this off so you guys can see. So it's just the perfect lighting for nighttime feedings. It's not gonna be too bright. It looks a little brighter on the camera, honestly, but in person, it's really like not that bright. It's kind of perfect. This wall was so hard to put together. Honestly, I'm not like a collage decorator, but I like the way that it turned out. And these paintings are actually from one of my best friends. She did this fox. She also did the bear. She ended up surprising us with one more. So she also did this deer. I wanted to make sure to get like a good pillow. I'll try to link like whatever I can. Here I have some diapers, this sweet little bunny blanket that someone gifted us. And then of course we have some butt paste and some lotion. Down here, this is another fun little thing somebody gifted us. This has his name on it. I love having things with his name on it. I think that's so special. Up top here, I wanted to show you guys that we have this hatch machine. So this is like the noise maker. It also has a light and I can control this from my phone and I can change the loudness of the noise or what kind of noise. I wanted to make sure to have that by his crib. I have one stuffed animal in here and that does not match our theme 
at all. This is actually a stuffed animal that I got for, I think it was Valentine's Day. Not Valentine's Day, sorry, I meant Easter. My parents growing up, they would always give us a little stuffed animal in our Easter basket. And this was the very last one that I got when I was still living at home. So I've saved it all these years. I thought this would be special. I wanted to have something to give to Connor. And actually it does say Happy Easter on the ribbon, <laughs> but it's just a cute little duck. So I have that in his bed, kind of just something special for mama. And then of course we have the diaper genie. So you saw the initial reveal, so now are you ready to see what's in all the drawers? The only thing that's a little bit of a mess is the closet, but a lot of the stuff we have in the closet, we're going to end up putting around the house as needed and stuff like that. So it's kind of like the little storage area right now. Let me show you how I organize and what's in all the drawers. So in the top drawer, I have all of his blankets, like all of his swaddle blankets and whatnot. So we have a couple of like the muslin blankets. This one's from Copper Pearl. These ones are the homemade ones. So many of these so we have a bunch of really cute fun blankets in here for him then in the next drawer we have all of his bibs how stinking cute is this and we have a bunch of burp rags these ones are actually like diaper cloths but we were told that they're really good as burp rags and then these ones a lot of these are actually ones that i have made but these ones in the back were ones that were gifts to us so we have a lot of those which is so nice oh my gosh you guys these are the little bibs that i tried to make not so successful I think this one was my best one. So we have this little bib that I probably won't use, but keeping just because it's a special craft that I did. The next drawer is all the books. Tony's going to build a bookshelf so that way we can have all the books in there and this drawer will then be empty. In the last drawer, I put the diffuser in here. These ones are actually the bassinet sheets that I made. You guys might recognize those ones. And then these are for the crib. So in this top drawer that's closest to the recliner, I put a lot of my like personal things that I'm going to need. There's pads. These ones are like the reusable ones so I can use these for leakage and whatnot. I have a haka in here. These are some nipple shields. So this is kind of like my personal bin and then we have a lot of medications in here too so there's vaseline there's extra little filters for the nose frida random samples in here too that we got in all those baby welcome boxes so many extra pacifiers you guys we have so many pacifiers <laughs> little lotions some nipple cream and then of course we have wipes right here too these wipes will probably end up sitting right there more often than not and then i also have like this nail file in here as well in the next this drawer here is mostly bath stuff. This is an extra little changing pad cover. These are some sheets for the pack and play. We have washcloths right here. I am trying to be as organized as possible. I've always been super organized. It drives me nuts when things aren't organized. <laughs> so I wanted to just do my very best to make it easy and simple. The last drawer is kind of just like an extra drawer right now. This is a fabric for the special baby blanket that I'm gonna make and it's gonna be a special blanket just for mama. I'm gonna embroider his name on it and everything too but I don't know how to embroider yet my mom's gonna teach me so this is something I'm gonna make later this one has just extra random diapers extra wipes we have so many more wipes and diapers than this but this is just like the immediate extras and then this one this has extra nursing covers so we have a few a car seat cover there's another nursing cover down here I have all of his little like sleepers these are pants right over here lots of room for extra things if I want to put more things in here and this is an extra boppy cover and then we have this drawer these are all of his long sleeve onesies back here we have the short sleeve like basic staples so that's the white ones and the gray ones and up here we have like his little hat so cute. Some more like cute little booties. And then we have all of his socks, which I have like clipped together. Not as organized in the closet, but I do have all of his clothes already hung up. This is his little Santa outfit, some little plaid pants and a little Santa shirt he's gonna wear for Christmas. We have all the other little outfits. I'm sure some of you guys are gonna recognize a few of these clothes. Cannot wait to put him in this. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. I have my bag with my pump up here this is another bag with a different pump we have his little like wrap carrier hung up right there and then this is like the little messy part so i put together this little caddy for just around the house so after he's born i'm gonna just you know take this around the house wherever i need there's a changing pad some burp rags obviously we have wipes and diapers there's the little wub and nub my sister gave me it's a little duck so cute there's lotion and butt paste in here too so this will be our traveling around the house 
caddy. We also have the dock -a tot This, I'm sure, will also be traveling around the house. We have the bathtub in there, little bouncers right here, the pack and play, which probably will end up going over to my in-laws. The stroller will probably end up going in the garage. And then we have his laundry basket as well. We have the bumbo, which we don't need quite yet. Those are refill bags for the diaper genie. This bin has all of his clothes in it and all the extra things. So once he grows out of the newborn ones, then I'll be reaching in here. And then we have this guy that we haven't unpacked quite yet either because we don't need it yet. So this is the little baby Einstein. I forgot to show you guys too with the lamp that I can like switch it off up there if I want to, but I also have it hooked up to like this so I can just step on it and turn off the lamp too if I want to. So that is the nursery. I think he definitely has dropped you guys because that looks like, my belly looks like way super low. Anyways, this chair is actually super comfortable having the pillow Having the pillow back there is so nice. I got a good one on Amazon and it actually is super supportive. And I will link everything that I can in the description box. I feel like I should be able to link most things. There are definitely items that were like clearance sales at Marshalls and personalized things people got for us and stuff like that that I won't be able to link. But most of the staple things like everything for the crib and the recliner and like the boppy and stuff like that, I should be able to link. So I'll do my best to link those for you guys. But I hope you like this room. I absolutely love it. I think it is so perfect for us. And I just can't wait to have him here. I'm just so excited. I don't know if this video is gonna go up before he's born or after, but either way, I'm just so excited to share this with you guys. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Doesn't it look great? Oh, I just love it so much. Thank you so much again for watching and following us on this journey. I'm so thankful to be able to put together a room like that. And thank you so much for everyone who helped. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.